Duke Energy is one of the lar or is the largest U.S. gas and electric utility service company that provides gas and electric to seven to eight million customers over four jurisdictions, which makes up seven states. Customer transformation and the experience that the customer has with us and interactions is really important to our CEO, Lynn Good. Lynn Good's very adamant about having great customer engagement between the employees and the customers that we supply our service to. And so with that, we went into a customer transformation as one of our efforts on the roadmap through billing system upgrades and then through our um, grid up grid modernization upgrade. It was a journey of five years. So we started out with looking at SAP and Oracle, selected SAP, we brought in Accenture, EY, and KMPG as our partners to help us to deliver the product. With the automation testing that we built over the course of the first probably eight months while we were in DEC space, We've utilized that and so we started out with about 350 test cases that we were running and it was taking us about 12 hours to run those on a schedule. And then of course there's analysis time and fixing if there's any problems. So we have reassessed those test cases, right? Cause that was a greenfield environment. So you need to test certain things greenfield that you don't need to test as you're continuing on through your regression test. So we currently now are running about 250 on a weekly basis between analysis and execution. It's about 32 hours a week compared to, we average an estimate of four hours a test case. So if you imagine 250 times four hours, right? You're talking 1200, 1300 hours just for execution and, and gathering data compared to 32 hours that we're running those test cases in. So over the course of the last year, from April 1st of last year to this year, we've saved $4.3 million in resource money of not having to have that many resources to do a weekly test bed for regression testing. And so today for Duke Energy, we are the largest SAP cloud in the US supporting and running that in production. 2019, we converted to S4 HANA from the existing uh, environment that we were in that stored our data for SAP. And so we had not deployed any of the billing systems at that point. We had deployed customer CRM and we had done Hybris marketing and Hybris commerce. So we were able to take our first deployment with S4 HANA into production versus having it on something other platform and then having to convert it. So we had to shift and adjust, but we did it prior to, which then, you know, we were challenged to decrease the schedule. So that's where our leadership changed the schedule to do DEC, combined DEP, DEF, and then with that combination pulled Midwest in. And so then we actually went in seven months earlier than what the original schedule was going to be the beauty of automation has really taken us is that somebody can call me and say, I need you to run automation. Okay, let me put it on a schedule. We hit the button, the schedule's there, and we walk away and we go to sleep or we do whatever we want. I don't have to rustle together, you know, hundreds of people or whatever it's going to take to do all of that manual testing that would be needed to do that same regression bid that we're running automated. There's been a lot of savings, a lot of value add with doing the automation and bringing it in before each weekly release gets, gets done.